The Biden hostage crisis has turned into a high wire act. Democrats telling themselves if he falls, it's likely fatal. If he doesn't, he simply wobbled to the other side to survive one more day. And Biden's surviving for now. Donald Trump is a loser. I'm the nominee of this party because 14 million Democrats like you voted for me in the primaries. You may be the nominee, no one else, not the press, not the pundits, not the insiders, not donors. You the voters, you decided, no one else, and I'm not going anywhere. Biden last night wobbled his way through a press conference where the bar was lower than the Earth's core. For Joe, a good night was calling Zelensky President Putin, Kamala Harris, VP Trump, and any weighing his way through the hour. Look, folks, this is a, uh, well, anyway, I'm not going to be traveling in the 15 time zones a week before. <laughs> anyway, I'm catching hell from my wife for that. Anyway, it wasn't about just, anyway, read what his objective is. And anyway, but then again, they're better than a lot of other people here, too. But anyway, we just move things along. Anyway, for the longest time, it was. You know, Biden's not prepared to sit with us unscripted. Biden's not prepared to, you know, anyway. Democrats are testing each other tonight, calling it the worst of all worlds. They're in purgatory. Biden did just enough to live another day. And now, no one's changing his mind. Plus, it's too late. We have scores of headquarters in all, in all the, 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 the toss-up states. We're organized, we're moving. And I, that's awful hard to replace in the near term. You earlier explained confidence in your vice president. Yes. If your team came back and showed you data that she would fare better against former President Donald Trump, would you reconsider your decision to stay in the race? No, unless they came back and said, there's no way you can win. Me. No one's saying that. No pulses. Oh, but they do. Some of Biden's closest allies are whispering to each other that chances of winning are zero. And Biden campaign insiders are admitting he needs to drop out. Biden could have done push-ups on stage and it wouldn't matter, is what one Democrat said. The damage was done the night of the debate. And here are the numbers. Biden's approval rating just cratered to 32 percent. But if you're a Democrat who says Biden can't win, the White House beats the crap out of you. This is what one top Democrat told me. They said uh, everyone who expresses any level of suspicion or contrary views, they call everyone and they beat the out of them and say, stay on message. <laughs> Biden's showing up to a gunfight with a knife. The coup against Biden's growing. It's a coup to save democracy, of course. Democrats are putting together an anti-Biden committee to take him out, telling each other, forget the niceties, be ruthless. And they're bringing in the hatchet and the messiah to do it. CNN reports that Pelosi and Barack are huddling up about Biden's future. People close to both say the end for Biden's candidacy feels clear. It's just a matter of how it plays out. The coup There's committee consists of Obama world, Clinton world, big donors like Clooney and Ari Emanuel, late night libs like Stephen Colbert and Jon Stewart, the New York Times, Biden aides who are leaking like crazy, and elected Democrats, especially the swing staters. But Biden's not going down easily. There's a risk that Joe Biden could actually dig in deeper. And that's particularly true with Barack Obama. I was talking to a former Biden aide pretty recently, and they said, you know, Obama already pushed Joe Biden out of one presidential race back in 2015. You don't get to do that again. Tonight, shots fired between the Bidens and the Obamas. And both sides hitting below the belt. They think our old boss, Barack Obama, is orchestrating the push to get Biden to drop out. The New York Times wrote that Mr. Biden's advisors think that David Axelrod and the Pod Save America bros are, quote, operatives who worked for a cerebral cool guy president and never understood the world, according to the scrappy kid from Scranton. You have bigger fish to fry. That's like, this the is point. not what do you what, like? Why are you spending time on us for? Go just beat Donald Trump. If he was the scrappy kid from Scranton, I'd be 
thrilled. And here come the Clintons. Chappaqua's freaking out. The New York Times publishing a piece from Bill's old pollster. Biden's path to re-election has all but vanished. And they say a new candidate is inevitable. Biden's lost the two power centers in Democrat politics, the Obamas and Clintons. And when you lose them, you lose the money. Democrat donors have just told the Biden campaign they're freezing $90 million in pledges until he drops out. The donor class is shutting down. I know these people. All right. And they're not, and not only are they shutting down contributions to the Biden campaign, they're shutting down contributions to the Senate committee, to the House committee. And unlike me, all I can do is shut my mouth. And that make a lot of people, make a lot of people happy, but they shut their wallet and they're going to make a lot, a lot of people unhappy. When the checkbooks start closing on the House and Senate, the whole party starts running. What Americans feel in their bones right now suggests not only that Joe Biden would lose this race, but that he or we would lose the Senate and the House. And the stakes are so high that we need to set aside that loyalty and that poetry and that romance and the charge of the light brigade, and we all go down together in favor of some really hard-nosed analysis. Even though they're pledged, Biden's own delegates are plotting against him, preparing to vote for someone else in Chicago. But the Biden coup isn't because he's mentally unfit. If he was, they should 25th Amendment him. The coup's being launched because he'll probably lose, which isn't really a legit reason to disenfranchise millions of Democrat primary voters. He won't lose because he's old. He'll lose because his policies are terrible. Biden was losing this election before the debate. That's when the cover-up ended. The debate debacle was just an excuse to rig a primary that was already over. The age bit is just a distraction so Democrats don't have to talk about why Biden's so unpopular. The Biden presidency has been a disaster because he cut a deal with the radical left to get elected and then gave them everything they wanted. They broke the bank, broke the border, and made our cities unlivable. Notice how the only people really backing Biden hard are AOC, Bernie, The View. They got everything they wanted out of Joe. And if he's reelected, they can finish this country off. But the coup leaders know that'll never happen. Biden's a dead man walking. So they're trying to replace one puppet with another. This is actually the second coup in back-to-back -back presidencies. The coup against Trump made Republicans support him more. Will the coup against Biden? Make Democrats support him more? We don't know, because it's just day to day. Click here to subscribe to the Fox News YouTube page to catch our hottest interviews and most compelling analysis. You won't get it anywhere else.